guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Malaysia and I'm here to teach you how to build, believe, and achieve the life that you desire. Today I'm going to be speaking about the difference between rich people and poor people. Now I'm not necessarily saying that like if you want to be rich you have to do all these three things or if you don't do these things then you're poor or whatever. This is not what this video is about. I'm just sharing blatant differences of rich people and poor people to help give you guys insights so you can transition into a rich person and get that shipping. Before I start this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like my face. And if you don't give this video a thumbs up, that means that you don't like my face, which is implying that you don't like people. And by saying you don't like people, that means you don't like animals either, which also means that you eat dogs. And you know, if that's what helps you sleep at night. So the first difference between rich people and poor people is rich people invest money for more time. Whereas other people, they invest their time to make money. The majority of society invests their time working a job that they don't enjoy to make money because they need the money to survive. Rich people invest money to save time. You know, a lot of cliches about rich people is like, oh, having a cook, having a cleaner. All these things that are cliche for rich people to have are things that they invest their money into to save time. They're paying a cook to save time cooking. They're paying a house cleaner to save time house cleaning. You know, if you're a business owner or you're a creator or if you're a really busy woman that has a lot of things on your hands, then investing in an assistant, you're saving time doing all this unnecessary things that someone else can do for you and you're putting that time towards things that you'd rather put your energy into. Now, honestly, I am considering getting my own assistant in 2020 because I not only have a YouTube channel, but I also have a brand, I also have a business, and there's so many tasks I have to do in a day, it seems like I'm going to spontaneously explode if I try to do all of them. And so to pay someone to save you time, it's something that is only brought to light that rich people do, but it doesn't have to be only what rich people do. You don't have to necessarily be rich to invest money to save you time. My business is coaching, and a lot of my clients invest money to save time researching and running around like a headless chicken trying to figure out how to grow their personal brand on social media, how to start turning your dreams into reality, how to start manifesting big things, you know. I personally invested in a business coach and a business course to save me time. I prefer to pay someone to tell me all the things I needed to know, things that I didn't even know I needed to know within three months than to take years trying to figure it out. Again, investing your money to save you time. You can always get money back, but you can never get time back. Let's say you ain't gotta like that. You don't necessarily have to invest big bucks into a business coach or invest into an assistant to save time. Just something as small as investing in a course, investing in an ebook can save you time researching for years because everything that you would spend researching is in that book or course. Another difference is having a strong money mindset. And when I say having a strong money mindset, it's having a good relationship with money, figuring out your relationship with money. You know those stories of people who win a lottery and like after a month, they are broke. That's because they have a weak money mindset. A strong money mindset is having a strong relationship with money, is understanding your relationship with money and it's, for most, it's complicated. You know, we all were conditioned and raised differently and some of us, including myself, were raised to look at the cheapest option is the best deal. If it's expensive, it's not worth your money. You'd be stupid to buy that, that's too expensive. Depending on how you're raised is how your relationship with money is. A lot of us low key have really negative relationships with our money. An example of having a weak money mindset is when you buy something expensive, you feel bad for it, you feel like you have to hide it from people because they'll judge you for it being too expensive, for you being too bougie, but at the end of the day, it makes you happy. I'll probably be doing a video later on next week on how to develop a strong relationship with money and develop a strong money mindset to attract more money. So if you don't want to miss out on that, then <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Another difference between rich people and poor people, 
I honestly do not like saying poor people because I know you guys aren't poor and even if you are poor I just don't like that word. I feel like if you are poor and you're saying you're poor, you're speaking it into existence. And if you're not poor and you're saying you're poor, you're still speaking it into existence. I don't know, maybe it's just like my law of attraction ass. I don't know, maybe it's my hippie ass just doing the most, but I need to come up with a different word for this because I don't like, I don't like this word. Anyway, the difference is rich people have multiple streams of income. They don't put all their eggs in one basket. So if you wanna be rich in this day and age, I would advise to aim to have multiple streams of income. That's why I'm so happy to be a multi-passionate because I'm about to be making six figures for my coaching business. I'm gonna be making six figures for my YouTube channel. And I just might make seven figures for my music. That's not me advising like to all of a sudden be multi-passionate. But if you are multi-passionate, if you are multi-talented, consider not putting all your eggs in one basket. You wanna be a YouTuber, great, start YouTube. But is there a way that you can connect that YouTube channel towards a business and make even more money these days on YouTube a lot of things are being demonetized and you can never predict AdSense so I see so many youtubers now that have side businesses where they sell necklaces that they wear you can sell lashes you can sell makeup you can sell wigs you know the freaking the sky isn't even a limit with all the ways you can make income so don't put all your eggs in just one basket I personally know some people who aren't even on YouTube and they're making six figures from Instagram with less than 10K following. Like, there are people who are reselling items from China on Amazon, doing Amazon FBA, and they're making like seven figures. Honestly, I was thinking about Amazon FBA, but I realized I just am not passionate enough to put that much time and work into reselling. You know, once I have extra, extra, extra income from my business and from my YouTubes, maybe I'll invest a little shan shan in Amazon FBA so I can bring in another stream of income. And that's the mindset of a rich bitch, okay? Let's get it. I hope you guys all have a great day. Make sure to build, believe, and achieve, and I'll see you guys later.